Today we're at the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. AKA NASA! Today we're training like astronauts. We're gonna be using the same training simulations that astronauts use before traveling into space. Let's suit up. Brandon Salarm, I'm Chell Lindgren. Nice hey, it's really nice to meet you all, and it's nice great to, to have you, you here in, at Johnson Space Center. I'm a NASA astronaut. I joined the astronaut office in 2009, so I've been here for almost 10 years. This is an amazing place to live and work. So I went to space in 2015. I launched on a Soyuz rocket out of Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan in July of 2015, and then returned back to the Earth December of 2015 after having spent 141 days in space. The training is amazing, and I think that many folks will tell you it is the second best job in the world to actually getting to fly. We spend two years learning the basics of being prepared to fly. And so that includes robotic arm operation, space station systems, how to do a spacewalk, flying in the T-38 jet as a space flight readiness trainer, and then finally, learning the Russian language. Once you've been assigned to a mission, begins another one and a half to two years of training for that specific mission. So for that first space flight, it's about four years of training. Wow. It's a lot of training. My name is Paul Valley. I'm the Argos Project Manager here at the NASA Johnson Space Center. And I'm Brian Mader. I work in EVA operations, so we do crew training and flight control for spacewalks. So what are we doing here today? Well, this is the Active Response Gravity Offload System, and what we do here is simulate reduced gravity. So we're going to put you into zero gravity, or microgravity as we call it, and that will make you feel like you're floating around in space. How exactly does this train astronauts going into space? So being in space and microgravity is a lot different than just walking around on two feet. Things just like starting your body moving and then stopping your body from moving are a lot bigger deal than, than on the ground. So if you push off, you're gonna just keep going and float out into space. <laughs> oh, great. One of, you, one of you will do it. <laughs> yeah, any motion you put in, you have to take out. It takes a lot of practice to fine tune those skills before they fly. All right, ready to go to space? Ready to go it. Yeah. Let's do this. Ah, that's good there. Is it just gonna lift me up or something? Yeah, so the first step is we're gonna lift you up and then we'll calibrate the system to you and then from there you'll be good to go. Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh. So you, can go up and you don't wanna float off, so we always keep things tethered, yourself included. I'm afraid I'm gonna touch one thing and then fall down. <laughs> Two and a half. Two and three. Four. Oh, shit. Do you feel like you're in a movie right now? I feel like I am in a movie right now. And get you over to the handrails. Oh, you can stop spinning. Oh, cool. Oh, oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god. <laughs> well, you're off to a good start. Okay. Should I be going somewhere? So that's why we keep everything tethered. <laughs> not so easy, is it, Brandon? <laughs> no, ah. it's really not. <laughs> across the space station. Making my way downtown. Yeah, Don't die. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, I'm across this. That was a little scary. So now's where you start having to think outside the box a little. Back here. Hey, hey. All, right. <laughs> all right. There's your box. <laughs> it's like playing floor is lava. Exactly. Except with zero gravity. <laughs> go ahead and put your waist tether down. This way, if you come off structure with that waist tether, you don't have so far to go. This is a big deal. We're all counting on you. All counting on you. Oh, man. Okay. Gotcha. I'm pretty sure I saw this in Armageddon. All right, that one's loose. Okay. I'm going to unlatch it. You really have to pay attention to every little micro movement you make. Oh, it goes over. Okay. Makes sense. And then, lap. I'm really surprised how exhausting this is. I just feel like every muscle is so tense right now. Woo! Piece of cake, right? Piece of cake, am I right? Oh, this is the final man. test. Uh, hey! Hey! Uh-oh, oh god. <laughs> and that's where we just mess with you and let you Hello. Away. <laughs> this is my nightmare. <laughs> every single muscle yeah. in my body is just so tight. Just because I'm trying to like focus every single movement. It's insane. It's so insane. That was crazy. I was definitely using a lot of different muscles that I'm not used to. Definitely sweating. I want to go back up there. I want to stay up there forever. Send me space. So I got actually to do two spacewalks during my mission. They are an unforgettable experience. The opportunity to go outside to wear that very iconic spacesuit, to see the Earth and the outside of the space station through a very thin piece of plastic. It's something I'll never forget. How long were you out there? Both of my spacewalks for over seven hours. Oh, so wild. all told, I've been outside for a little over 15 hours. 
I'm Jeff Hoblet. I work at the Johnson Space Center's Virtual Reality Lab. This is where we train astronauts on how to do their spacewalks. Well, one of the things that we train for here is the rescue system that the astronauts wear when they go out on their spacewalks. In case they ever become separated from station, they have to be able to rescue themselves. So what we train here is something called SAFER. Simplified Aid for EVA Rescue. What that is essentially is a jet backpack that the crew wears when they go outside. So if they become separated, they reach down, they pull out a little hand controller, and then they can power that on, fly themselves back to safety. Now this is the safer unit. This is the rescue backpack. This is what the crew wears. These towers come up. There's a little hand controller over here. They reach out, they pull that up, oh, wow. and out deploys oh. this. Okay. They power on, fly themselves back. In the actual VR simulator, we're going to be using one of these? Yes. Well, here we are in space. <laughs> Whoa. OK, cool. Uh, wow. All right, so now you've just come out of the airlock. All right. You're not having a very good day. No. You want to start off at uh, That's pretty half. nice. OK, and oh, oh, God. there you go. No, no, no. <laughs> So a bad day for you. <laughs> this is really awful. I just noticed you've fallen off. You're this hoping your tether works. Nope, bad news. All and right. now start closing on it. So start giving pulses in. Oh, I'm getting sick, <laughs> but I'll be fine. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting closer. Okay. But it's going down, so I need to go down. If the space station is going down, yes, you have to chase it. You're doing good. Actually, I think you're going to be okay right there. Pick a handrail. And... Oh, 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 I don't know if that handrail's live, but you would have had it. Oh, no. Am I floating away again? I think you're floating away. Oh, no. <laughs> That's it. You're almost on it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you're almost there. And... Grab it. Oh, there you got go. It. That's a good rescue. Woo. All right. That's you're sweet. successful. Yay. I did not grab a handle, but I grabbed something. <laughs> you got back to something. That's all that's important. That was crazy. Like, especially when you start shooting backwards, like, you're just spinning so much. You, it's, like, very disorienting. I was not as successful as Brandon, but, I mean, I still lived. I didn't die, so that's still a plus. Um, but it was a lot harder than it looked, for sure. Yeah, in a real-world situation, this would be terrifying. <laughs> My name is Bill Ricky. I work for NASA here as a T-38 instructor. Right behind us, we've got a T-38 simulator that we're going to fly today. A T-38 is a fighter-type jet that has two people in it. It's got afterburning engines, and it's a great trainer. The astronauts, they fly for space flight readiness training, and they use it to get familiar with the procedures of flying and procedurally things that are similar to when they fly in uh, space. This is it. Yeah. You guys see what you can do. Yeah, we had absolutely no training, so it was perfect. <laughs> Don't right. even know what a cockpit really looks like, so yeah. here we go. I wonder if they tell each other jokes through these. <laughs> I'm sure they do. Hey, Brandon, guess what? What? Chicken butt. Uh, uh, <laughs> we're going to die. <laughs> we're going to die. Uh, NASA 903, you're clear for takeoff. Runway 35 left. <clears throat> Roger that. All right. Then... At, at this point, you can uh, go full power afterburner, and you're clear to take off from the runway. Oh, we're flying! Whoa! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Push uh, down. Push the nose down. Pushing down. Push nose down. How about one of you get the gear up? Oh, the gear. Oh yeah, gears up. <laughs> right. And the other person get the flaps. Sorry. Oh, flaps, flaps, flaps. Flaps. Hey. We're flying. Hey, all right. We're flying. <laughs> all right. I'll tell you what. Let's take a tour of uh, Houston. Let's go and do a left turn. So push the stick to the left, and there you go. And as you turn to the left, kind of hold it in that position, and you'll be turning. Oh my god, we're doing it. Slum, you're doing great. Okay. <laughs> I'm terrified. We will go ahead and do some aerobatics. One, two, three, go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. Wow. Oh my god. Yeah. We did a double roll. Is that like real life? Can we do it again? Yeah, let's do it the other way so you can kind of unwind, right? Whoa! <laughs> uh oh! Uh oh! Uh -oh. It out. Don't snap! <laughs> Don't fall out, Brandon. I'm okay. You. I'm okay. Whoa! Oh my God! The biggest no, thing! No, no, no. The biggest thing! That's mine. That's great. <laughs>
Is that all right? Oh, you guys are great. I didn't really know what to expect going into today, but it was way harder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> Talking to the astronaut today, finding out that it takes at least four years of training to actually get to space, it's just like really cool to meet someone who's that passionate to do that. It's crazy to think that when you're an astronaut and when you're training, you not only have to learn all that stuff over time and get really good at it, but you have to actually implement those skills in space and know what you're doing. Overall, we survived space training, kind of. Yeah. Yay. Look out, Moon, we're coming for you. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh.